Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to dry some herbs on the dehydrator. Okay, first things first, I'm going to start with the parsley. I'm going to cut off the parsley Ugh, first. Okay, if you see dirt around here, it's because of the root ball, but that's okay because I'm going to be cutting up my parsley and putting it in this colander to be washed. You only have a little bit of parsley, that's fine. You can wash these and throw these in with your bones when you're making broth for flavor. But I have some of these really bigger leaves, not the small tightly curled ones. And so I'm just going to, anything like this, I'm just going to set aside and put in my fridge for when I make my broth or even in my freezer I'll just put them in a bag stems and all but they'll be washed first of course because this is a lot folks and I'm just taking the very nicest curly leafed parsley the rest of this is going to get chopped up with my jack-o-lantern pumpkin for the pigs so I'm going to keep out some of the bigger ones that I won't dehydrate and keep the small ones for for drying and the rest we can go to the bags now there's going to be a lot of folks who are going to ask me why i am not hanging these to dry i've done that actually already my first harvest i did hang to dry but i'm going to dry them on the dehydrator now there is a trick folks you really need to know this if you're planning on dehydrating or drying your herbs on the dehydrator make sure your dehydrator is one that a has a fan and b has a thermostat why well herbs are delicate especially medicinal ones but even just your kitchen herbs if you dry them too hot you're going to lose flavor vitamins all kinds of stuff you're going to lose all the essential, you're going to damage the essential oils that are in your herbs. When you dry herbs on your dehydrator, make sure you do not turn it any higher in temperature than 95 degrees. Okay, so when I have all this done, we'll be back. Okay, so there is the parsley I'm saving for my bone broth. Here's what's going to the pigs. And here is a great big colander, which I'm going to rinse. And then I will see you in the pantry. Okay, so I've got my regular dehydrator tray. And I'm going to put one in the bottom for better air circulation. And I'm going to put the herb on the next tray, not the bottom one. And I'm going to use one of my fine mesh liners. And I rinsed this in the sink. And then I took it and I squeezed it. I didn't wring it. I squeezed it to get the most of the water out as I could. This is a lot of parsley, folks one parsley plant folks is all you need if the growing conditions are right okay so we have three trays of parsley here and again 95 degrees no higher so i'm going to turn this on and we will be back when this is dry okay oh that's beautiful that's wonderful and if you notice, the, although the lighting is poor in the pantry here, um, it's retained a lot of its really beautiful color. Let's get it all out onto the paper here and get it in the jar, and uh, we'll be back in a second. And so remember me telling you don't worry about these stems? Because A, they're really tiny. But as soon as you do this before putting it in the jar, we just gently kind of rub it together. Oh, it smells lovely too. It smells as if it was fresh. And that's the beauty of dehydrating is uh, if you do it at the right temperature, everything just holds its stuff together. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, if you're going to dry your herbs using the dehydrator, remember it's really important, 95 degrees or less. Take care, God bless.